Oh, that's also a creeper spawner. Okay. No, 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 no. How long? Two freaking... I need a cow. I need a cow. And I'm in a thing. All right, cool. All right, how's it going, guys? I'm the Cuba Gamer, and welcome back to RLCraft 2.9.3. Where... Okay, um... Listen, guys, I'm going to be entirely honest here. I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to bring this up in a natural way for today's episode, but I kind of have a little bit of a story to tell. Uh, <laughs> kind of while we do things today. And let's just say I may have almost been arrested yesterday <laughs> as of recording this episode. I am not kidding. It was an interesting time. But before we actually do go into that, um, I do want to kind of mention what I want to do for today's episode. So, because that story is fresh on my mind, I kind of want to do that for today. So, here's the thing. We do still need a couple of things, and a lot of that involves emeralds. Because I want enchantments, I want a lot more stuff. So, I think what we're going to try and do today, we are going to go to a four towers with our looting three nunchakus. And we are just going to, or looting four nunchakus, I forgot about that. And we are absolutely going to decimate a four towers, get all of the illagers that I possibly can, and try and get ourselves plenty of emeralds. So while I do that, I will tell the story. Okay? Is it, that's how we're going to do it for today's episode, okay? Okay. It's not just going to be the four towers. I might also go to the College of Evil. Honestly, that wouldn't be a terrible idea, because that place is also filled with illagers as well, and loot that I wouldn't mind grabbing. We may hit that too. Maybe. Maybe. Now, the good news is for us is that we already kind of know where a four towers is. It should actually just be right over here. Because I'm pretty sure we saw it whenever we were facing the Durgans. At least I'm pretty sure. So I kind of want to go over this way. Please tell me there's a four towers over here. I'm almost certain that there was. Right? I was right. Okay, cool. Cool. So yeah, these places have all sorts of illagers that I can use to our advantage, so that's what I am going to do. I don't think I checked out the enchantments, so we might do that as well. But yeah, this is also going to be a way to get ourselves plenty of experience, all that kind of stuff, so it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so give me the emeralds. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, this is going to be pretty nice. Alright. Sweet. Anyway. Uh, I should probably go ahead and actually tell the story of what happened yesterday. So, as you guys know, my wife is a teacher at, uh, well, she's a music teacher. So, yeah, I generally go take her and pick her up from work every day. And this time, picking her up from work was a little bit different. Just a wee bit different. So, here's what happened. Normally, I cross a little highway bridge before I go on the main road to go pick her up from school. As I was crossing said bridge, there was a cop. A police cop. Yes, they exist. Uh, but his lights were flashing, so, you know, I did the thing. I pulled over slightly to make sure there was plenty of room for that kind of stuff. Or to make sure he could pass without an issue. So, I did that. And as soon as I crossed the bridge and was about to hit a stop sign, I saw in my rearview mirror that he turned around, okay? Okay. The cop turned around, so I'm like, okay, it's probably something that's ahead of me, and he just had to turn around real quick, that kind of thing. So, before I hit the stop sign, I pull over again, because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do whenever a cop is, has their lights on and they're coming your way. So I do that. He pulls up right behind me. And then there are three other cop cars. And I'm not kidding on this. <laughs> Literally, a cop, uh, a truck... A cop truck, whatever you call that. I actually don't know what you call it. Pulled right in front of me. And then there was two cop cars behind me. And I think there was one off to the side as well. So I was kind of confused as to what was going on. Because I thought this was just like, maybe I didn't come to a complete stop at something. Or something like that. I That was not the case. So <laughs> I'm sitting in the front seat of my car. And okay, Reaper, can you not? Thank you. Okay. I'm sitting in the front seat of my car. My front left side uh, driver's, the window, it doesn't roll down. It's broke. So the cop that was behind me got out from his car and he started yelling at me to roll down my window. So I'm like frantically trying not to make 
crazy sudden movements or anything like that. But I just wanted to make sure that, like, he knew that my window wasn't down. But I was absolutely yelling my head off that my window doesn't roll down. I was worried something bad was going to happen. Because if I could have made any sort of movements that made it seem like I was reaching for something, things could have ended up pretty bad. I'm just going to just gonna throw that out there. So, yeah. Anyway, after about a minute of yelling for me to roll my window down, he finally just said, open the door and then uh, walk out with your hands up. Mind you, I've never been in this kind of situation before where I've actually had a police officer tell me that kind of stuff before. Uh, but yeah, either way, he yelled at me to get out of the car, put my hands above my head, or hold them up or whatever to make sure I wasn't doing anything. So I did that, and I he told me to walk to the back of the car, put my hands on the back of the car, and then he started, and then he asked if he could pat me down to check for any weapons or anything. So I'm just like, uh okay what's going on here so then he finally tells me that there was a call apparently in my neighborhood uh there was a shooting of some sort or something like that i'm not entirely sure exactly what happened all i know is that somebody thought they heard gunshots i'm pretty sure it was gunshots at this point but yeah they were and well anyway the people that called it in they said they saw a vehicle that looked vaguely similar to mine. They basically just said, like, a dark-colored uh, Pontiac, but I drive a dark blue Pontiac Grand Prix. So, uh, yeah, and they that's why they told me they pulled me over. So they kind of explained all that stuff. So then, after he pats me down, he freaking puts me in handcuffs. He's, he's going on making sure, like, he's just saying, you know, you're not being arrested and or anything. We're just detaining you. So he puts on the handcuffs and then he tells me to just lean on the back of my car. So I'm just leaning there, you know, I'm just kind of acting all chill. Like I'm totally not about to pee myself in any way, shape or form. I legitimately was terrified for my life that something was going to happen or something. <laughs> I know it really doesn't seem like that big a deal. Like I wasn't being like kind of rude or any, I wasn't being rude or any to the cops. I was complying with them. And all that kind of stuff. But as someone who's never been in that kind of situation before. That's stressful, man. That's really freaking stressful. But yeah, they were still asking me if they could like search my car and stuff. And I'm like, I mean, you can. You ain't going to find anything. I do apologize. There's a freaking mess back there. But still. <laughs> but yeah, like, oh, God. That whole, that whole situation was just... Ugh, oh, jeez. And they were, like, just about to search my car, too. They're, they're, I don't have anything in there. They weren't going to find anything anyway. Um, but, yeah, like, they were just about to whenever one of the other cops got, like, a call. And said that they got a clarification on the type of vehicle that was seen. It was They confirmed that it was a black vehicle, not blue. So that's whenever they decided to let me go. But I was... Uh, I was put into freaking handcuffs. If they didn't get that clarification, I could have easily been taken to jail for the night. So that was that, that was fun. And it was funny because after I got my wife from work, I tell her all this. She doesn't believe me at first. She didn't believe me at first. She thought I was just making up a dramatic story because I'm freaking dramatic, you know? Man, I can tell I've been talking for way too long here. Uh, but yeah, either way, I tell her... She finally believes me, and we finally get back to our apartment, and all the cops that were there, that whenever they pulled me over, they were at the they were at my apartment. So yeah, that was that was a thing. So what turns out what happened was there actually was a drive-by at the little like so my apartment complex, I'm basically in a warehouse, and there's a little like um kind of a trailer type house i can't remember exactly what they're called but it's like right next to it literally like 20 feet away yeah i think it's technically a part of the same lot or it's like owned by the same people or whatever but apparently somebody that knew them actually did shoot at their house and one of the bullets even went through the back of their couch and through the other side of the building where somebody could have been sitting so you know, things are a little bit concerning at my place right now. I just, I wanted to talk about this. I know it's, um, 
I, I know at some point it's really no longer my business, but whenever it's hitting that close to home, it becomes a little bit my business. But I just felt like, you know, this is the first thing or first time that something like this has ever happened to me. I kind of want to share it a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, that happened. I was almost arrested technically. So that was that, that was the time. That was the time. Thankfully, our record stays clean. Nothing happened. Nothing bad happened. Well, except for, you know, the whole entire thing that brought it on. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. That's about it. My apologies if that story kind of felt all jumbled up. Like, I, I'm not used to telling stories like that whatsoever, so. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. But yeah, I just, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to talk about that while we we're kind of doing what I wanted to do for today's episode. Can you not please thank you? Yeah, can you go away, please? Okay, not bad. And go away. Thank you. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that while we go through all this stuff for today. Uh, thankfully, we already got ourselves, like, what, almost four stacks? Eh, not really. Still, it's not a bad amount. I will take it. I will gladly take it. Now, if you guys will go away, that would also be pretty cool. And not have the burning thorns, okay? Okay. So, did I get most all the illagers during all that? Did I? I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, yeah. Some can spawn over here. Okay, you don't have sticky. Thank you. Okay. I do still want to collect as many emeralds as possible. But I do want to get more enchantments. A lot of you guys were telling me that I should get the upgrade potentials, and honestly, I'm surprised I didn't grab any books whenever I did find that villager. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that, just in case. Can I get rid of this one? I don't like creepers. Thank you. And you go away. We're going to get so many freaking emeralds out of this. Oh, that's also a creeper spawner. Okay. No, 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 no. How long? Two freaking... I need a cow. I need a cow. And I'm in a thing. All right, cool. Can I not be in this, please? You know what? I can just do this. Ow. Thank you. Okay, I need a cow. Oh, I hate perplexity. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Can I please get out of this? Are there any cows here? Any at all? Please? Okay, good. There are cows. Um, I can't go down. Why can't I go down? Okay. Not sure why I couldn't go down off the rock. That's fine, I suppose. Oh, jeez. Okay. This way? Okay, stop. There we go. How? Thank you. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Man, freaking screw those things. All right. Any mimics over here while I'm looking? Anything at all? I am going to take that as a no. All right. That is fine. Come here, Rock. All right, good. All right, where are the spawners here? I really don't want witches here, please. Yeah, can we not do this? Thank you. Is there another one over here? At all? Or am I good? There's one more. Please go away. We don't like witches. I Okay. Where? Go away, please. Stay away. Thank you. Freaking hate witches. All right, we good? I think we're good. <laughs> Give me those emeralds. I think we're going to have, like, what, probably five stacks by the end of this? That's a pretty good amount. I will gladly accept that. 
Oh, spawner's gone. All right. Just about four stacks. I'm pretty sure there are more spawners up here. Are they in here? They are in here. Okay. Really wish I had the TNT arrows. That would make life so much easier. And I don't want to deal with that. Okay. Well, let me check something here. Yeah, it's not cold here, so we're just going to switch these two out real quick. Okay. Can I get my health back, please? That would be nice. Look at how many spawners there are in there. That is so unfair. Okay, none of that. No, and I can't destroy it. Okay, okay, okay. Ow. We're good. Okay. You stay away. Stay away. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. It's okay. We're good. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. That works too. Can I get my health back, please? All of my health? Is there anything over here that I could uh, kill real quick? Please? Something? Please? I don't need that. Anything? Cows? I need to kill you. My voice sounds so weird today. It just sounds kind of hoarse. I don't know what the heck is going on. So, uh, so yeah, sorry if my voice sounds a little off today. Alright, I think for the most part I'm good. Those guys, I need them gone. I like the creeper gone too. You know what? I will take that actually. Okay. I would very much like my health back, please. Thank you. All right, come on. All right, we're good. Get rid of the spawners. Come on. Come on. Get rid of them. I hate them. I heard another. I heard a witch. Did I get them? I hear witches. I'm not a fan of that, but I hear them. Okay. I think I'm good. I guess. Oh, you know what? They could be below. I didn't even think about that. Yep, nope. Witches could be below. Not a fan. They are below. Crap. Okay, really? 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 Zombie villager on a chicken? Really? Hey, can you not? Thank you. Oh, no, here comes a horde. All right, what are we doing here? Can we not? Okay, thank you. Can I get more potions of luck? I can actually use those. Ah. All right, are we good? Can the Zambos stop, please? Why are there so many Zambos? Where did you get a Wither Skull? Where did you get that? It, no, you stay down. Thank you. All right. Stop it. What did you just... What did you just hit me with? It's to be with like a fire thing? What was that? Well, joke's on you. I have a fire dragon's eye. You can't hurt me with that. 
Fucking nub. Okay. Are there spawners out there done? <laughs> Please tell me they're done. Okay, good. They're done. I'm okay with that. Crap! I guess I probably should go ahead and do the other tower. Probably. I think that would be best. You know, if I can actually get up to it. Thank you. Okay. How am I going to do this? We're ignoring that. Won't be able to destroy the spawner, so let's just go ahead and hit this. There we go. Get rid of you. Did you just see a blight? Yep. That guy could hurt wherever he went. Okay, stop with the withers for two seconds, please. Ow. Actually, you know what? I could use this to my advantage. Withers give off good experience, I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah, we're good. We're fine. Although these guys need to screw off, please. Take that. Oh, haste. Oh, really? You web me? Oh, you suck. Can you not? Thank you. Oh, two blights. What? Oh, 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 oh. If one of those hits me, that could be really bad. Okay, come on. Where are the blights? I saw them. They exist. I know they do. Where are they? Lights? Are you there? Okay, well, they're somewhere, and I'm not a fan of that. It's unsettling, knowing where they're not. Okay. Okay. Anything good? Not that I can see, but I will take that. Thank you. Really? I thought nunchucks could break through webs. I guess I was wrong about that. Okay. Mm. Nothing useful. I will take that. Oh, there's one of the blights. All right, come on. I know you want to. No, come here. Come on. Yep, you're looking at me. I know you wanna. There we go. Later. <laughs> it's so dumb. All right. That's really the only other chest I could grab, seriously. Oh, that's kind of lame. All right, take those. Can't get that one because it's locked. And again, I forget the freaking lock picks because I'm a dumb, dummy guy. It's fine. Hello, creepers. Why are you here? Why are there so many of you? Okay. Can we hit level... Oh, we're so close to level 50. Can we hit level 50? Okay, not by that! Not by that! Okay, we're good. Oh, I am so close to level 50. Come on. Really? Okay, over here. I didn't take any fall damage from that. What the heck? Alright, sweet. Hey! Stop that. Well... I think we're good. I think that's it. Pretty sure that's basically most all we can do here. Oh, you know what? I didn't check out one little place right in here. Uh... Eh. Ooh, piercing capabilities. 
I want that. Yeah, I actually want that a lot. Also, sweeping edge is not bad. And then there should be one more chest right here. Cool. Yeah, can you guys all die, please? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Rock, I think it's time we get out of here. Come on. Let's go. Ow. All right. Sweet. Not bad. <laughs> that is quite a few emeralds. I will take it. All right. You probably got to turn all these into blocks. So let's go ahead and do that. 41 blocks of emeralds. That is not bad at all. Thank you, game. Sad I couldn't get that one lock chest, but I really can't do anything about that until I actually get a lock pick. I should probably do that at some point. I, I will try. Uh, so let's see. Really don't need that. This is a piece of the Ankh charm, so we got to make sure we hold on to that. I am really running low on chest pa uh, things. Okay. Probably make more chests. That would not be a bad idea. At least spruce. I think they're spruce. Nope, they are not spruce. They are dark oak. Crap. You know what? Whatever. Don't care. Throw all those in there. Then I'll move these somehow. Actually, can I do that now? <gasps> Aha! Oh. Yeah, I gotta move all the stuff to crates. Crap! <laughs> Alright, I'll do that later. Oh, uh, let's see how many XP tomes that gives us. I think that'll give us four to, yeah, uh, yeah, four. What? No, 39 was supposed to go down to 30. What the heck? Oh, that is some bull. Okay, fine. But well, you know what? At least we have some experience. That is so rude. Rude. All right, well, you know what? Uh, I actually am going to go ahead and wrap it up there for today's episode. So, yeah. Um, I told my story about what happened, and we also absolutely decimated A4 Towers while doing it. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I am sorry that we really didn't get all too much done exactly today, but I really just wanted to tell the story, and I know that took at least 10 minutes. So, yeah. Yeah. I was almost arrested. It's cool. I'm still feeling a little bit of the adrenaline from it, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. But either way, in the next one, I'm still not entirely sure exactly what I want to do. We could face more four towers, or I could go running around getting more enchantments, doom like dungeons, or moving. I'm still thinking about moving. I just don't know where. I like this location. I really do. So I could maybe just... I don't know. Maybe I could just rebuild the base possibly but yeah we still need a lot of stuff to be able to do that i need more materials and things so yeah if i do that i will make sure or at least i will try to be prepared i will try but either way so if you guys enjoyed today's episode i would very much appreciate it if you guys hit that like button also subscribe to the channel so if you guys can catch up on the rest of the series also there are links to my social supports and amazon affiliates down in the description below if you guys want to check that stuff out totally up to you if you want to though it is their purity for your guys's convenience so yeah other than that you guys have a wonderful day today and you all are awesome